Does the boiling point and freezing point change when the solute is added to the solvent? Today, GenChem Impact says, Boiling point elevation. This is water. We have two samples of water. We are going to add salt to the other sample and what do you think would happen if we add salt to the water? A. The two samples would boil at the same time. B. The salt water solution would need more time to boil than the water. C. The water sample would need more time to boil than the salt and water solution. The correct answer is B. The salt water solution would need more time to boil than the water. The reason why the salt water solution needs more time to boil is because of the boiling point elevation. Boiling point happens when heating a solution. There is an addition of energy happening in the solution. Since we are using salt for the experiment, we will be tackling how a NaCl solution comes when in contact with heat. Under the kinetic molecular theory, the kinetic energy of molecules relates to the energy with the molecules. So if molecules are heated, they earn energy. First, in heating the solution, the ions must separate from each other. NaCl must become Na positive and Cl negative ions. The energy required to do this is called lateral energy. Remember that each two O molecules have weak intermolecular interactions with each other. These interactions are called hydrogen bonds. To separate the hydrogen bonds between these water molecules, they must need energy before they can separate. Third, water molecules will interact with ions, and thus, bonds with separate ions. The ions will be hydrated. Chlorine will become a hydrated anion, while sodium will become a hydrated cation. The energy needed to do this is called salvation energy. Thus, the solution needs higher temperature to boil because it needs more energy to bind the salt with water than just boiling water itself. This principle also applies to freezing point depression. Because of the higher energy needed by the solution, the solution cannot melt in the temperature of the solvent. Thus, letting the solution have a lower freezing point and a longer time to melt. In mind, with that information in mind, we can observe this principle to numerous types of application in our daily lives. Number one cooking, number two, antifreeze, number three, sterilization, number four, unclogging a drain. Again, we are GenChem Impact, making a remarkable impact on everyone. We hope you learned something new about boiling point elevation.